Hajj. Lesson 2. The Rites of Hajj. The Rites of Hajj. Hajj is one of the five pillars of Islam, and it is an act of worship to bring one closer to Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth, and to remember him. It is a time of unity where millions of Muslims from all over the world come together and unite in these acts of worship. Additionally, it is a great test of patience, as the pilgrims are faced with numerous trials such as overcrowding and delays, which are generally accompanied by short tempers. The rites of Hajj are performed at designated sacred places at certain times and dates. Some of the rites of Hajj are also performed for Umrah, which is referred to as the lesser pilgrimage. The symbols of Hajj are mentioned as they are connected to the rites of Hajj and Umrah or due to their great virtue. So taking a look at the rites, sacred places and symbols of Hajj. First of all the rites, Ihram, Talbiyah, Bawaf, Sa'i, Rajum, Hadyu and Arafah. The sacred places, in the city of Mecca, Mina, Arafah, Muzdalifa, Masjid al-Haram and the Miqat and Haram area. And the symbols of Hajj, Zamzam, Kaaba, the Black Stone, Maqam Ibrahim and As-Safa and Al-Marwa. The Rites of Hajj and Umrah Overview First of all, the Rites of Hajj include Ihram, a ritual state, Talbiyah, verbal intention, Bawaf, walking around the Kaaba, Sa'i, walking between Mount Safa and Al Marwa, Rajam, stoning of the pillars, Hadyu, sacrificing an animal, and Arafa, stopping to supplicate. And the rites of Umrah include Ihram, the ritual state, Talbiya, the verbal intention, Bawaf, walking around the Kaaba, and Sa'i, walking between Mount Safa and Al Marwa. Highlighted in yellow, we have the pillars of Hajj which must be performed for the Hajj to be valid. Ihram, Bawaf, Sa'i and Arafah. And as the rites of Umrah are the same as the Hajj rites, we will now elaborate on the main rites of Hajj. 1. Ihram Ihram is a ritualistic state which a person enters where certain things which are usually permissible become prohibited. This is to remove one from the comforts of this life and remind one of Allah and their return to him. Furthermore, ihram is a sign of humility before Allah and human equality. The ritualistic state ihram is entered by purifying oneself, wearing certain clothing, making the intention to perform hajj and or umrah, and then ihram is maintained by adhering to certain prohibitions. The prohibitions for men's clothing include the following shirts or any fitted clothing, sewn clothing, turban or head coverings, socks or anything covering the ankle, and clothes dyed with fragrance like saffron. Generally, men wear two sheets which can be sewn or pinned to prevent from falling. Prohibitions for women's clothing include niqab face garments with holes sewn for the eyes, and gloves, fitted sewn hand garments. The word niqab is derived from the verb naqaba, which means to put a hole in something. Women may cover their faces with material which does not have a hole for the eyes sewn into it. General Prohibitions Perfume it is permissible for the men only to apply scents before making their intention. Otherwise, unperfumed products are okay. Also prohibited hunting game animals such as wild donkey or eating game animal. Cutting the hair or nails is not allowed unless for medical purposes. It is permissible to wash the hair and with water and sidr or unperfumed soaps. Marriage contracts, engagements or assisting others is not permissible. Sexual relations are not allowed. And of course, disobedience and arguments are not allowed. How to enter Ihram? Number one, take ghusl, a purification shower, or otherwise perform wubu, ablution, even for women who are menstruating. 
to remove all pubic and underarm hair and trim nails as this will be prohibited until exiting ihram. 3. Men can apply perfume before ihram but not after. 4. Wear the permitted ihram clothing. And 5. Make intention at one of the designated places called a miqad. The designated places to enter ihram, a miqad, discussed shortly, inshallah, if coming from outside the Mecca region. People living in Mecca may enter ihram from their homes for hajj only. However, if they wish to perform umrah, they will need to leave the haram area to Masjid Aisha, which is the designated place for them to assume ihram. For the one performing Tamatu'a Hajj, Ihram will be re-entered from the place where the pilgrim intends to do Hajj, i.e. from their hotel in Mecca. Additional Notes If one fears they might be prevented due to illness, they make a condition. If I am detained by anything, then my release from Ihram is where I am detained. There is no special prayer for entering Ihram. And if entering ihram on a plane, then ghusl can be taken before boarding. After completing the rites, the pilgrim leaves the state of ihram by trimming their hair the length of a fingertip, and it is more rewardable for men to shave, and women do this in private. In the event anyone breaks any of the ihram prohibitions, they must pay a penalty, fidya of, either fasting three days, or feeding six poor people, two handfuls of wheat or barley, or sacrificing an animal. 2. Talbiyah The talbiyah is a verbal expression of intention said after entering ihram. It is a symbol of hajj showing readiness to serve Allah. The talbiyah should be said with sincerity. It reaffirms the testimony of faith, and it is responding to the call of hajj by Ibrahim peace be upon him, the talbiyah should be recited when moving from place to place or changing circumstances. Pilgrims stop reciting it when they arrive at the jamarat, pillars for stoning. Women should recite the talbiyah in a low voice so that men cannot hear them. The talbiyah is read as Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik Labbaik La Sharika Lak Inna Alhamda Wa Ni'mata Lak والملك لا شريك لك Number 3. Bawaf Bawaf is walking around the Kaaba in an anti-clockwise direction seven times, starting when in line with the black stone. The significance of Bawaf is that it is prayer except there is talking in it. It is time of devotion and connecting to Allah and there is unity of movement and harmony with the creation. Tawaf starts from Hajar al-Aswad, the black stone, and circle around the Kaaba, counterclockwise. Additional notes. Pilgrims should be in a purified state when doing Tawaf. When going around, they should not pass through the Hijr, the semicircle section, or ascend it, as this was from the original foundation built by Abraham, peace be upon him. And women who are menstruating must delay until they return to their purified state. However, if the group will leave before she has finished her menstruation, she may wear a pad to protect herself and do her bawaf, as her hajj will not be accepted without it. Men do the first three rounds quickly, walking quickly or jogging slowly, without harming others. It is sunnah, the practice of the Prophet, to kiss the black stone, to touch it, then kiss your hand, or touch it with a stick, and kiss the stick. If all of these are not possible, then pointing to it is sufficient. It is not permissible to harm other Muslims, so leaving an act of sunnah in order to protect the Muslims is more rewardable. The supplication said during tawaf. When starting, say, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. In the name of Allah, Allah is the greatest. When passing the black stone, touch it, or point at it and say, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. When on the corner of the Kaaba, before the black stone, say, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasana, wa fil akhirati hasana, 
وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ Our Lord, give us good in this world and good in the hereafter and protect us from the punishment of the fire. Exiting Tawaf The crowd during the Hajj Tawaf will be too intense to just walk where one wants. Pilgrims will need to merge slowly through the crowd and back toward Maqam Ibrahim. If they choose to do Tawaf downstairs, then on the last round they should move toward the outside. 4. Sa'i Sa'i is walking seven lengths between Mount Safa and Mount Marwa, following the steps of Hajar. May Allah have mercy on her. It represents making the effort just like Hajar, a sign of honour for those who submit, strive to please Allah, and are patient with their tests. Start from as safa Walk seven lengths between the mounts. From as safa to Al-Marwa is one length. Men should pass quickly between the green lights, and Sa'i will finish at Al-Marwa. The supplications of Sa'i. When heading to Mount Safa, say, Inna Safa wa Marwata min sha'airillah. Indeed, a Safa and Al Marwa are among the signs appointed by Allah. Then say, Abda'u bima bada Allahu bih. I begin with what Allah has commanded me to begin. Number two, after climbing a Safa and Al Marwa, facing the Kaaba, the following is said three times with supplication between them. There is no God but Allah alone. There is no partner with Him. His is the sovereignty. To Him all praise is due, and He is powerful over everything. There is no God but Allah alone, who fulfilled His promise, helped His servant, and rooted the Confederates alone. لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده أنجز وعده ونصر عبده وهزم الأحزاب وحده 5. رجم Rajm is the stoning of the pillars, likened to Abraham stoning Satan, representing, repelling Satan from our lives, focus on worship and obedience, and pushing away distractions. This image shows the positions of the three pillars. Here we see the pillars are covered with shelters, and note that the biggest pillar is furthest from the accommodation tents of Minna. The pillars are stoned seven times each. The stones or pebbles should be about the size of chickpeas or date seeds. On the first day of stoning, only the biggest pillar is stoned. From the next three days, all three pillars are stoned, starting from the smallest, which is the closest to the minna tents. It is permissible for any weak people to designate someone to throw on their behalf and due to the large crowds, it will also ease the intensity of the crowd on that day. The Supplications of Rajm Say each time you throw, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. After stoning each of the first two pillars, it is sunnah to stand facing the Qibla, direction of the Kaaba, supplicating to Allah, providing that the crowds are not too dense. 6. Hadyu Hadyu, the sacrifice. And when he reached with him the age of exertion, he said, O oh my son, indeed I have seen in a dream that I must sacrifice you. So see what you think. He said, O oh my father, do as you are commanded. You will find me, if Allah wills, of the steadfast. And when they had both submitted and he put him down upon his forehead, we called to him, O oh Abraham, you have fulfilled the vision. Indeed, We thus reward the doers of good. Indeed, this was the clear trial. And we ransomed him with a great sacrifice. And we left for him favourable mention among later generations. Hadyu is a sacrificing of an animal such as a sound quality sheep. Following the tradition of Abraham, peace be upon him, pilgrims continue this rite which symbolises submission to the will of Allah and sacrifice to give thanks. 
Due to the large number of pilgrims, the sacrifice now takes place in a specified area by specialists on behalf of the pilgrims. 7. Arafa Arafa, also one of the sacred places of Hajj, is referred to as the greatest day of Hajj. This day I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favour upon you, and have approved for you Islam as your religion. There is no day when God sets free more servants from hell than the day of Arafah. He draws near, then praises them to the angels, saying, What do these want? Pilgrims should stay here until sunset. There is no specific mount for standing. Anywhere is fine. It is sunnah to shorten and join the Dhuhr and Asa prayers at Arafah, praying them in the time of Dhuhr. If someone arrives in Arafah, before dawn the next day, he has caught his Hajj, as attending Arafah is the most important ritual of Hajj. Recommended supplication for the day of Arafah The Messenger of Allah, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, The most excellent dua is the dua on the day of Arafah, and the best of what I and the prophets before me have said is, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. There is no God but Allah alone, without any partner. Alhamdulillah, in this lesson we have explained the main rites of Hajj. In the next lesson we will cover sacred places and symbols of Hajj, insha'Allah. May Allah guide us to make our obligation of Hajj our first priority when travelling and make it easy for us to perform. Amin. Subhanakallahum wa bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. How perfect you are, O Allah, and I praise you. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but you. I seek your forgiveness and turn to you in repentance.